Hey guys, welcome back to Country View Acres. So today is the first day of our firearm season for hunting deer. And I started out this morning in this hunting blind right here and it was too windy. I didn't stay in there very long. Seems like the wind just kind of funnels inside of the, the blind right there. So I ended up moving down the hill where I was a little bit more shielded. So um, the weekend's just gonna end up getting worse. Um, there's gonna be a chance of rain and higher winds for the next two days. So I actually bought real windows for this hunting blind. And that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. I'm gonna see if I can get some windows installed in there so it's a lot nicer experience on the inside of the blind. And um, I had previously made windows before. I made them out of plexiglass and I made them where they were just kind of some sliding windows and they broke. They did not last. I think we had some 60 mile an hour winds and it ended up basically shattering all the windows out of the blind. So finally broke down and bought real ones. So it may be a little bit of a trick because the real windows don't actually fit these openings perfectly. So I had to buy slightly smaller windows. They're the right height, just not the right width. So we're gonna go ahead and make some modifications to the hunting blind and see if we can get these windows put in there. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out what we had in here for the old windows. So this is where the old sliding windows used to go. We're gonna take that out and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add some wood on each side of the windows to make them just a little bit more narrower so the right size for the uh, windows that we bought. So I ended up buying some slider utility windows, the cheapest windows I could find. These were somewhere around, I think 30 to 40 bucks a piece. And they're nice and bright and white, aren't they? So they're not really camoed like the hunting blind. So Rebecca ended up, she ended up buying some duct tape that has camo. So we're gonna try duct taping a little bit of this, maybe cover up a little bit of the white. I realize I'm not gonna be able to cover it all up, but uh, see if we can at least make it look a little better. So the windows that I bought, they are like a new construction window. So they have a nail flange that wraps around the outside of the window and it's made to go on the wall and you screw it down to the wall. But you can see we already have barn metal on our blind up here. And that barn metal has ridges like every nine inches or so. So it's not a nice flat surface to be able to mount this to. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to get the top flange to slide up underneath the barn metal. And then the side flanges, they'll screw to the new wood that I just put on. But there's no way to get that bottom flange underneath the tin without having to take the metal off the off the hunting blind. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that bottom nail flange off of the window and we're just going to attach it on the three sides and that should be good enough.
Well, I didn't think I was going to get that with a razor blade, but I did. So now that we know that the window will fit in the hole, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put a little bit of silicone around the edges. I'm going to put it back in and screw it down. So we got all five windows put into the hunting blind and the other night I actually gathered everything up. I gathered up all the tools. I tried to pre-cut all the wood beforehand. That way we could get up here and do it as quick as possible. And um, I did have to cut a few things just to trim them down a little bit, but we did this in about three hours. So we're just in time to be able to get back up here and hunt tonight. So uh, let's go ahead. We'll head up to the hunting blind and I'll show you the windows a little bit closer up. So here's the inside of the hunting blind. You can see here's all five windows that we just put in. Now these were cheap utility windows. So the bad thing about them is they do have a specified bottom. So they only go in one way. So the windows, every one of them has to slide to the left. So that you can't, this window right here is fixed. So you can just slide the one window. So that does kind of I guess minimize their functionality, but it's just a hunting blind and I think it's gonna work out all right. So right here at the end of one of the last windows when I opened it up, it did have a crack in the window. You can see it right there. These are only single pane windows. They're cheap windows. So I put it on the backside over here. Hopefully that won't freeze and bust that piece of window out in the winter. Hopefully that'll stay okay. We'll just have to wait and see. So before all of the animals kind of had access to get in here since my other windows broke and you can see that the squirrels and everything had been eating on the wood in here and kind of tearing this up. So I did kind of clean this up a little bit as best I can. So we have an old piece of carpet in here that makes it quiet in here at least when you try to move around. So we've got a couple chairs in here. We've got a little heater. Of course that doesn't work real well without windows. So now that heater should work pretty good once we get that, uh, when it gets cold, we should be able to heat this thing fairly well. And then we've got a bucket. It's got some extra supplies in there, extra propane tanks and stuff like that. Just using that for storage. So we did end up using duct tape to put on part of the window, just to uh, kind of knock down the, the color of it a little bit, trying to knock that bright white down a little bit so it doesn't stick out so much. Um, I do think it helps a little bit. Now I know that, uh, I do have the duct tape, that camo duct tape is not gonna last very long. That's probably gonna last one year or so and it's probably gonna fall off. Uh, I know that's not a permanent solution. Um, what I'd really like to do is I'd like to mask off the windows later on when it's not hunting season and uh, just kind of put a light spray 
of maybe some, some camo spray paint on there. Just a, just a real light spray, just to kind of knock the, the color down and to darken it a little bit. And hopefully I can do that next year or something, make it look a little bit better. But overall, really, the windows don't stick out as bad as I thought they were going to. I thought they would just stick out really bad, uh, bright white windows against that camo. So I think it's going to work out fairly good. So we're going to head back to the house now. We're going to grab our hunting gear and we're going to start hunting tonight. So our first deer hunting weekend is now over with and I hunted all weekend long sitting in that hunting blind and it was a it rained every day this weekend it it, it was a rainy windy miserable weekend but uh, it was actually pretty nice up there in the hunting blind the windows did help with the wind quite a bit it was it was nice inside of there and it's a nice dry place to hang out so it's pretty comfortable hunting to be to be honest with you um, and this, this hunting blind actually overlooks our, our hay field. And this is our alfalfa hay field. And the deer do come out here of an evening and they will eat some of this alfalfa. And uh, there was one evening I actually had a total of nine deer out here. And there was like a group of four that came from the south and then I had another group of five that came from the east. And they kind of hung out here for a while and then they kind of followed each other um, out to the south. But uh, I didn't end up shooting any deer this weekend, didn't shoot it, didn't even shoot at any deer this weekend. All of those deer were antlerless that I seen all weekend long. None of them seemed very big. So I didn't think that uh, any of them was big enough to harvest. So I just pretty much ended up watching deer uh, from the hunting blind all weekend. Now, we built this hunting blind a few years ago. Like I think the first year we bought this property. And my original plan for this three acre uh, alfalfa field was actually I was going to turn it into like a big three acre food plot and I was going to plant like nut and fruit trees down it I was going to break it into like three one acre plots and I was going to try to make this into you know it's like a big food plot a place for wildlife and that was my original plan when we bought this property I really thought that I would do more um, you know to, to attract wildlife and, and stuff like that and we've decided to change things a little bit and we turned this into a hay field so that we could raise more animals instead. Now I did plant all the chestnut trees on that east side over there and that it is truly to be able to hunt over one day when they finally start dropping chestnuts. But uh, even though this hunting blind is overlooking an alfalfa field, the deer do come out here and eat the alfalfa. So I didn't, like I said, I didn't get any deer this weekend um, and I stayed up there all weekend so I didn't film anything else. So I, uh, you know, there's not going to be very many videos over the next few weeks because next weekend is Thanksgiving and the weekend after that is our second deer hunting weekend uh, with firearms to hunt deer. So, um, so that being said, with the holidays and, and more hunting coming up, there won't be very many videos coming up over the next few weeks uh, because of that. So, uh, after this after hunting's all done and we finally get at least one deer in the freezer um i'll probably go back to building fence and starting to do firewood around here but anyway i'm gonna let you guys go i think that's it for today's video i hope you guys have a great thanksgiving i hope you have a happy holiday a safe and happy holiday and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video